Flat Earthers, have you ever accidentally proved the Earth is round? In 2019, I attended a Flat Earth conference out of curiosity. That's where I met a group spending $20,000 on a laser gyroscope to finally prove the Earth is flat. Their logic seemed simple. If Earth is truly a spinning globe, this precision instrument would detect a 15 degree per hour drift as we rotate. But if Earth is flat and stationary, as they believed, the gyroscope would show zero movement. This will end the debate once and for all, Bob, their leader, confidently told me. They let me document their experiment for my science blog, certain I'd witness history. The day of the big test arrived. We gathered in Bob's basement as he carefully set up the expensive device. The room buzzed with excitement. They were about to scientifically validate their beliefs. Then came the moment of truth. They turned on the gyroscope, and it immediately showed exactly 15 degrees of drift per hour, precisely what mainstream science predicts for a rotating spherical Earth. The silence was deafening. Someone whispered, that can't be right. Bob quickly recovered. It must be picking up energies from the ceiling fan. They tried again, this time inside a zero gauss chamber to block external interference. Same result, 15 degrees per hour. Still unwilling to accept it, they built a bismuth chamber to block any possible magnetic influence. Three days and several thousand dollars later, 15 degrees per hour. Again, growing desperate, they designed a completely new experiment. They positioned two boards with identical holes far apart in a straight line. Behind one board was a camera, behind the other, a bright light. Their theory, if Earth is flat, the camera should see the light clearly through both holes at the same height. But if Earth is curved, the light would need to be raised higher. I watched as they set up the boards perfectly level. The camera couldn't see the light. We don't see you, Enrique. Bob radioed to his friend holding the light. Lift up your light way above your head. Only when Enrique raised the light several feet did it become visible through both holes. Exactly what would happen on a curved surface. The room went silent again. Interesting, Bob finally muttered. I still follow their Facebook group. They're now raising money for a more accurate gyroscope.